Hello guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you will not regret it. You're a returning subscriber as always, guys. Welcome back. Guys, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about something I had just watched that's going on in Memphis right now. Well, it's over with now. But uh, Attorney Ben Crump, uh, Rodney and Robana Wells, I mean Robon Wells, which are the parents of Tari Nichols, just had a live press conference downtown in Memphis, and they were announcing that they uh, are starting a $550 million lawsuit against the city of Memphis. Those named in this lawsuit, primarily the ones being sued, are Police Chief Searlyn Davis, Scorpion, the Scorpion Five, which are five officers that beat Tyree Nichols, that are charged. The three EMTs, right, that were on scene, that got fired or suspended. Preston Hemfield is also named in a lawsuit, as well as First Lieutenant or the Field Lieutenant uh, Dwayne Smith. You know, the one that everybody was looking for, the mystery officer that was out there that was unnamed. And the, the guy that they let gracefully bow out into retirement without facing any type of uh, disciplinary action for being on scene and not rendering aid to Tyree Nichols, that was him. He's being named in a uh, lawsuit. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something. The lawsuit, like they said, is $550 million. They said it's a landmark lawsuit. They said the lawsuit itself has 897 paragraphs in it, guys. 897 paragraphs. I can imagine the thickness of that of those papers. And they sat in front of uh they were in downtown Memphis, presumably, I guess, I guess they were in front of City Hall because it didn't show it from a it just showed them up close. And uh they said they're coming for it. You know what I mean? Some of the things that uh, Ben Crump said and the other attorney, he said, first thing is, the man got out of the car and he said, what did I do? He said, right there, they showed no uh, type of police, proper policing. They didn't tell him why he was on the ground. They didn't tell him anything. And, you know, you guys looked at the video. You've seen that. I don't really, really go back into that. The other attorney, his assistant attorney. He said, you know, just the basic stuff. They beat him. They mocked him. They ignored him. And, you know, left him to sit there and, and injured, which ultimately helped cause the loss of his life. They put a lot of a lot of this responsibility on Chief Seraline Davis. And they should. You know, you guys see me cover this story. I've done almost 100 videos on this. Just Tyree Nichols' case alone. And I came hard at Cyrilene Davis a lot in my other videos. And a lot of people thought, you know, hey, man, you're just going hard on her. No, it, it has a lot to do with it. She's the chief one getting sued in this policy, guys. Here's your proof right there. They stated her as the policymaker. You know, they named the Red Dog Unit and all this other stuff in other places. The death of the uh, elderly woman in North Carolina. You know, when they raided the wrong house, they didn't, they didn't brought a lot of it up. And they said she, Celine Davis, brought the same mentality and the same type of units to Memphis, just changed the name. They also said something I didn't uh, know neither. They said, uh, she said, she was telling the officers, hey, don't worry about pulling the cars over with the unmarked. Don't worry about, just, just get the cars and we'll clear it up in court. Well, Ms. Davis, how are you going to clear this up in court? Because you cut bait as soon as they went and did some crazy stuff. And I'm sure they was following policy. Just like Ben Crump said, and guys, I want you to hear me real, real closely on this. He said, this is a landmark case because this will be the first time you will hear police officers in court under oath saying, this is what we were taught to do. Victimized and oppressed poor folk. You know, when I say poor folk, I'm saying mainly 
people that are in low co income areas, black and brown, and some white folk or whoever who is in that area. See, because it's not really, you know, it seems like it's more color oriented. It's more of a social class. You know, you shouldn't be in this area, so we treat you a certain way. And we all know this. Um, I also didn't know this. <clears throat> they said the field lieutenant, Dwayne Smith, went to the house. I thought they brought the family out to this uh, area after Tyree Nichols had been transported. That's not true. When they were out there talking and telling the first lieutenant everything at the end, when Tyree Nichols was on the ground, the EMTs were just standing there looking at him. All the Wayne Smith did as a field supervisor and lieutenant come and ask what happened. They're doing all the talking and everything like that, telling him what happened. He takes that to the house. They said he's into it because he mainly lied to the mother's face. And he did. And I'm going to tell you why I believe he did. And I know he did. Because the lies they told. Remember when we watched the video, guys, the lies they told at the end about what he was doing and going for the gun and he couldn't be brought to the ground. He was strong as hell. He just wouldn't go down. All that crap. They told it to who? Field Lieutenant Dwayne Smith. And he in turn carried the message to the mother because he's going off of what the lie that the officers told. Demetrius Haley was doing all the talking. Today has been said a little bit. Justin Smith complained about his knee. The one who did most of the beating, Emmett Martin, punching him in the face and all of that stuff. What did y'all notice at the end? He said nothing. He said his punk ass right in the back. Quiet. As long as you don't mention me, I won't mention myself. And he the one facing the most scrutiny. He gonna win, I think, gonna get the most time. But guys, man, uh, let me see if I'm, I'm trying to find it. If I missed anything else, now somebody fell out at at the end in the press conference, I think, or something was going on in the back where you saw people running. They cut it short. But this is what uh, kind of made me mad a little bit. A reporter asked right when the, the disturbance happened in the back and they had to end the press conference. The question he asked Ben Crump was, should Celine Davis resign or be fired? <clears throat> and he couldn't answer the question because of the disturbance. I was very interested to hear what he was going to say on that because I think she shouldn't be there. Her and the goons that she hired and put policies in place for virtually is bankrupting. The city of Memphis. This is all on her. And now people say, oh, we can't put it on her. You know, police going to do with that. No, they're under her uh, policy. Just like they said. In her policy, policy is what? Rules and guidelines. You can do this. You can't do that. You can do this, this, and this, but you can't do that. These are police officers. The way they were acting, they were doing a lot of that. Instead of doing this for the longest time without getting caught or punished. So when something is not, you know, spoken about, it becomes what? An unspoken rule. Kicking the shit out of people, victimizing and all that other stuff. This is the result. $550 million on an 897-page, I mean, paragraph lawsuit. How you going to get out of this? How you going to get out of this? One of my subscribers said a good comment yesterday. They said they are not going to let the city burn for the Scorpion Fives. Uh, but they did to Tyree Nichols. They are not going to let these people get off. They are going to use every trick in the book. They're going to pull every ounce of evidence that they have out to create some type of justice. Because if nothing gets done with this, the city of Memphis will erupt. That's all I got to say. Celine Davis, congratulations. You was in uh, Atlanta. Uh, controversy. North Carolina rally. Controversy. You come here. Controversy. And this one cost. This one really cost. And it don't just cost somebody's job or you could move away. I think this is your last hurrah, sister. Because now you're costing a lot of municipal funds and all this stuff. 
I don't see how, uh, man, that's a lot of money. I don't even think they had it. I, I know they don't have it in the budget. I don't even know why, man, listen, if I was Mayor Strickland, I'd be like, you know what, CJ, just go, man. Just go. This Somebody got to be pulling their hair out. It's a bad look. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update of what I just, I mean, it just happened. So, I mean, more things have come out. But, I mean, damn, just a stupid act, a senseless act. And the loss of a life is about to decimate a city financially. Guys, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. If you guys get a chance to see the uh, press conference, give me your uh, input, what you got out of it. We'll take it from there. As always, I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for listening.